Of all the keywords and terminology in the Java language, import is probably the worst. That's because it doesn't import anything. What it does is resolve some short names into long ones. For example, say you have this line of code in your program. But nowhere in your program or in the local directory do you have a definition for the class named date. That means that this line won't compile. Now there are two things you can do to fix this. You could just use the full name of the class every time you refer to it like this. That works and some folks prefer to do it that way. But you can use an import statement to do the same thing like this. What happens here is that whenever the compiler encounters the name date, to resolve the name it looks at the names on the import statement. If it finds a match it uses the full name it finds just like the full name had been entered in the line of code. And that's all an import statement does. It has some other nuances but they all basically do the same thing. You put the import statements at the top of the source file so the compiler will read the file and start off by building an import table of names for lookup. Here's another syntax for doing the same thing. This form uses an asterisk instead of a specific class name. It takes a bit more work on the part of the compiler, but the result is the same. Say the compiler wants to find a resolution for the name date. It first looks in the package java.awt for the name date, and if that fails, it looks in java.util for the name date. It will find at that time, so now it knows the full class name to use. This asterisk form of the import statement is common, but some people consider it not to be such good programming practice. That's up to you. Personally, I don't use it as much as I used to. You may have noticed that I haven't used it anywhere in the examples for this course because I want them to be as easy to read as possible. But wait, there's one more. With Java 5.0, a new capability has been added to the import statement. Let's say you have a class that contains this statement. There is a getInstance method that's being called to return an object. To find it, you first check all the methods in this class, and if it isn't there, you check all the methods of all the superclasses. If it isn't there, you look at the import statements. The keyword static following the keyword import means that all the static elements of this class can be accessed syntactically just as if they were defined locally. This means the method can be found in there. All I can say is that if you use this one, be careful because it's very easy to write code that's totally obscure. Just remember this, when you see an import statement, it's not there to import anything. It's there so you can use it to resolve names.